Okay. Hey. You're going down. Okay. Let's go. Watch this. Here go. Ilashai. Arigato. Bring it on! 
Look at the fun with this. Get alive. Let's go. Let's go. いらっしゃいませありがとうございましたありがとうございました。with this.
Hachi-san, either I need my eyes checked, or you actually bought a drink from the bar. Hmm? Oh, it's, uh, mischievous water. You giving your liver a rest? That's rare for you. Nah, uh, it's only because I don't have the money for sake right now. Not even sneaking it in from the convenience store. Damn, you're that broke, huh? Uh, I forgot to set aside something for this one big expenditure I have every month. It's... it's stupid. What expenditure? You in debt or something? Nah, nothing like that. I, I've been sending Takashi money. Oh! Isn't Takashi-kun the son of the guy who was arrested on false charges? Yeah. Kasumi. And he was arrested because I didn't believe Takashi's testimony. Yeah, but you also tried to get Kuzumi released, right? Or Nouchi's the one who shot it down. <laughs> Doesn't matter whose fault it is. Nothing will bring Kasumi back from the dead. And you don't know how shitty it got for Takashi. First his dad killed himself, then his mom passed away from grief. Poor kid ended up in an orphanage. Well, ever since then, I've been sending Takashi money every month. Under a fake name, of course. Why a fake name? Because Takashi wouldn't accept money from me. I'm one of the cops who locked up his old man. So I started sending money to him under the pseudonym Yamada. That's a hell of a good deed, Adachi-san. But wouldn't Takashi wonder why the heck some stranger named Yamada-san was sending money? <laughs> oh, I didn't overlook that. See, I played this Yamada-san character as a rich guy with a passion for philanthropy. And it worked. Takashi took the money without thinking twice about it. A passion for philanthropy, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. I think I feel some tears coming on, man. <laughs> huh? Hey, what's up with you? I just... I never knew how hard you were trying to do the right thing. And you're still doing it, even after you lost your job. Knowing you'll never get credit. Still helping out Takashi-kun. Adachi-san. You're a man among men. <laughs> I, uh... I didn't mean to yank on your heartstrings so much. Seriously, man, doing that for 20 years is freaking amazing. I just figured it was the least I could do for the kid, you know? That's not how I would describe it, especially now that you no longer have a job. Well, that's a good point. You know, isn't Takashi-kun all grown up by now? Uh, he's, uh, 25. Don't you think he should be able to stand on his own two feet at this point? Well, except now he's prepping for law school, so... Oh, yeah? He wants to be a lawyer? Yep. Another blood-sucking lawyer. <laughs> nah, but maybe it won't corrupt him that much. I mean, he's a good kid. You know, he writes me a letter every month and thanks me for the money. But those letters are how I know he's trying to get into law school. Maybe he was inspired to do that because of what happened to his dad. Uh, I wondered the same thing. That's why I thought I'd keep helping him until he passes the bar exam. Well, the bar exam's supposed to be pretty tough, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Well, he's been studying his ass off for the exam since college. It hasn't been easy for him. He lives on wages from his part-time job and the money I send him. Doesn't go out or party, just studies. Sure hope he passes, then. <laughs> Hopefully he'll manage to do it this year. Hopefully you'll be okay sending him money until then. It's gotta be rough. Well, <clears throat> to tell you the truth, that's a big factor. If he can't support himself soon, I don't think my heart's gonna hold up under the stress of all my stupid money troubles. No kidding. Now it all makes sense why you're broke. No, thanks. Hope you're uh, rooting for me, at least. Yeah, of course I'm rooting for you. Good. Then what do you say to buying me a drink? Oh, <laughs> I walked right into that one. 
come on, a clink of the glass would be music to my ears. Fine, fine. Not like I can say no after a story like that. Hey, bartender, can I get in an order? Guess I'm up. I believe I'm gonna. You could find the word. I'll show you paradise tonight. Not just one kiss, not two kisses, not one hundred. I've got. This one's my jam. Welcome. Thanks. I'm Iroha Yanagi. I'm helping out at the bar. Nice to meet you. I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you. Did he hire you to chat with the customers? Yep. I pull my weight around here. If your glass is empty, just give me a holler. I'll get you squared. Or if you just want to chat, I'm all ears. The customers who got to know me at my old bar actually used to call me Good Ear Iroha. So whenever you need an ear, I'm here to listen. Uh, sure, but what would I even tell you? I never got to come to these types of bars much. Whatever you want, really. You could even tell me about your dumb arguments with Adachi san. <laughs> You'd really want to hear that? Of course. I love hearing about the little stuff that makes people better friends. So, no subject too dull, no topic off limits, okay? Mm. 
Welcome. Thanks. Anybody here? Hey, excuse me. You need something? Uh, I heard you could fix bats. Do you, uh, work here? Yep. I'm Sumire Sawa. I run this place, if you can believe that. You're the manager? What? Having second thoughts because the manager's a girl? No, not really. So, this what you want fixed? This bat? Looks to me like it's been sitting around for a while. It's pretty rusty, too. Yeah, it's something I picked up. Still, it's special to me. <gasps> Hold on. This bat. Is this from the Hero series? Huh? the hell's that? It's a really, really rare bat that was only in production for a limited time thanks to the manufacturer going bankrupt. I can't believe I've seen one with my own eyes. Oh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Please let me fix it. Just this once. I promise I'll make it special. I'll even do it for free. Whoa, really? Yeah. Fixing up something as rare as this would be a dream come true. I'd be honored. <laughs> hey, thanks. Great! I'll get to work right away. <laughs> Holy shit, let's do this! Oh. Looking good. Ugh. That's what I'm talking about. Phew. That's some energy you got. I used to be a bit of a punk, so I tend to get pretty riled up about stuff. Anyway, here. Thanks for waiting. Yo! That thing looks like it's brand new! <laughs> and that's not all. To make sure it won't get all dinged up in the future, I added a special coating. That little beauty should be harder and more durable than ever. Thanks. I'll put it to good use. You sure are talented, you know that? <laughs> well, I definitely know how to fix things. Management's a different story, though. Yeah, now that you mention it, this place is pretty empty. I'm guessing you haven't been getting much business. Much? Try none at all. Nowadays, it's normal to toss clothes and things out if they're ripped or broken or whatever. 
people don't really get things fixed anymore. And as much as my dad tried to keep this place going, he wasn't very good at it. He wasn't good with money and got in a lot of debt. Had to sell most of our machinery to pay it off. So, pretty much all that's left is the stuff no one would buy. That limited what jobs we could take, and as a result, we kept losing more and more business. That's rough. But I really love this job. I love being here. My granddad who opened this place was a really skilled technician. He's been a constant inspiration to me, even long after he passed away. This place is all I have left of him, and I don't want to lose it. My dad may have thrown in the towel, but that doesn't mean I can't keep trying. I think I might be at my limit, though. I guess we're just in a time where we're not needed anymore. Me or this shop. Yeah, well, I don't know about all that. But look at it this way. You've been doing the best you possibly can. And maybe you're at rock bottom right now, but that doesn't mean you won't make it out eventually, right? Huh? I mean, maybe it ain't all that convincing coming from a guy who just barely got out of being homeless. But at the very least, I plan to keep coming back here to have you work on shit for me. Don't forget that, alright? <laughs> You've got a lot of spirit. Don't see that too much anymore. What's your name? Ichiban Kasuga. Alright, Kasuga-san. If you really mean that, then you're welcome anytime. Whether it's a bat or something else. I'll make it better than new. But this time's the only free one, okay? Yeah, sure. I'll be counting on you, Sumi Rachan. Got it. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, pretty good.
いらっしゃいませ。うめえ。うん。うん。うん。ありがとうございました。何見てんだよ。生活。Whoa, <laughs> pretty nice way to be greeted. Unbelievable! Every single girl is sexy as hell. 
I, I, I had no idea a place like this was on Restaurant Row. Focus, guys. We gotta find Zhang. Hi there. Nice to meet you. Are you having a nice evening? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, ni, ni hao. Uh, uh, hey, uh, we were referred by a girl named Saiko. Oh, the girl who was being interviewed just now? Someone in the VIP room requested her, so she's in there. A VIP room? Yeah, it's in the back. Funny how she's so popular already. She claims she was Chinese, but she's not, is she? Oh, um, I, I think she's got some Chinese. <laughs> Nobody here believes that, sweetie. Well, does that mean she's not getting hired? Oh, she probably did get hired if she's in the VIP room. But why, if she's not Chinese? Because the rest of us don't want to go in the VIP room. That's where the owner's friends hang out. They get to have whatever type of fun they want in there. And a lot of that fun is pretty gross. These friends, are they from the Liomong? Yeah, they're here almost every day, harassing the girls and just being awful. There's a bald guy who's especially horrible. He's the owner's oath brother. Bald? Is he a clean-shaven kind of big guy? Yeah, you seen him? He's the absolute worst. None of us want to deal with him. So they gave him to Sayako. <sighs> I feel bad for her. Wait, you saying Sayako's with them right now? Get out! No one said you could touch me, you pervert! <laughs> On the contrary, your boss said I could have my way with you. Sunshine! You okay? This nasty cue ball head tried to lick my armpit! Well, that's a new one. You know, when most guys do something I don't like, it's a kiss or a grope. Did you try licking just to throw me off? You deal with creeps that often? Ugh. What the fuck are you all doing in here? We were looking for you, Shang Tsung. Huh. Gone for that money I took from you. Nah, you can keep that chump change. We want you to spill some beans concerning the Yokohama Liumong. Are you really this stupid? No one's gonna tell you stuff about the Liumong. They ain't just some street gang, idiot! I know you're saying that just to play up your loyalty. But then again, how loyal are you really? Maybe I ought to put you to the test. What? You wanna fight? Not if you tell me what I need to know. If you don't, well, it's a different story. Uh. So you wanna go another round? Right here? No. No, I don't. But you gotta realize, if I blab to you, I am done for. They'll have my head on a stick. They'll have your head on a stick either way. What? If you don't start talking, I'll tell the leader of your gang exactly how you shake down the homeless. I wonder what he'll do then. You think you can threaten me with my own brothers? Uh, that's a great way of putting it. Wish I would have worded it like that. Shit. How the hell did this all happen? It happened because you decided to dig into the pockets of some poor, helpless bums. It's a little late for regret, don't you think? No. Because I still regret going easy on you. If I'd known you'd pull this kind of shit, I would have killed you when we met. Come on, brothers! These guys think they can make a joke out of the Liumar! Kill them where they stand. Throw their bodies into the base so the fish can eat them. Yes, yes sir! sir. Fun with this. Yeah, I got it. 
Die just yet. Like I said, I have some questions for you. Fuck you! You think I'd tell you anything? So you want me to rat you out to your leader then? Wait. If I tell you, will you promise not to tell them? Have some faith in me, will ya? I'm not an asshole. Could have fooled me. There's no reason for me to believe you won't rat. So now you're not telling me? Fine. It's ratting time. Fucker! Hey! Bring the manager in here! I want to tell him how the Honorable Liu Meng name is being used to shake down homeless guys for scraps! Okay, I'll talk, I'll talk! What the hell do you want to know? The owner of the Soapland? Why would Mabuchi-san want to kill that guy? I mean, the place was on Seiryu planned turf. There must be some mistake. Yeah, it don't make sense to us either. That's why we want to ask Mabuchi himself. You know for sure he ordered the hit? I definitely heard people shouting Lao Ma over the phone. No doubt in my mind. Really? Well, that is what his subordinates call him. Only his subordinates? You don't call him Lao Ma too? Nah, I don't speak a lick of Chinese. What? But... but... you're Liu Meng. The Yokohama Liu Meng was founded by my grandfather's generation, dumbass. So yeah, back then, everyone spoke Chinese. But us second and third gen guys were born and raised in Japan. Granted, some of us can speak like Chinese diplomats. Some are more like Chinese toddlers. The only words they know are ni hao and zhe zhe. Hello and thank you. Well, you're a Chinese citizen, right? Yep. Good thing, too. If you're born to a pair of illegal residents in Japan, you have no citizenship at all, from any country. So then you can't even go to school. A lot of the Liu Meng can't even read because of that. Reminds me of how the Yakuza used to be. Now I see why you and your brother stick together so tight. The rest of the country doesn't accept you. Is Mabuchi illiterate too? No. I mean, he was born poor like most of the Liu Meng. Right in this town, actually. But then he studied like hell, graduated from a top college, learned not only Chinese, but English and Korean. He's fucking smart. So he hangs out with a bunch of other smart guys. 
but I ain't one of them. I've never even spoken to him. Know where he is now? No idea. What about his phone number? Can't you take a hint, man? I am trying to tell you I don't run in the same circles as the guy. You better not be lying. I ain't. Seriously, I have no way of contacting him. This chump's not even on the first rung of the ladder. You got a pretty face, but your mouth needs work. What a bust. We went through all the trouble of getting into this joint for nothing. <sighs> wow. So it was for nothing that you beat me halfway to hell. We just thought you might know something about your own boss is all. <sighs> well, nothing we can do now. Yeah. Guess you can scram, Zhang. So look, I know how it goes. How what goes? You're just gonna rat on me anyway, right? Huh? No, you got this all wrong, man. Do I? Hell yeah. We're not trying to bring you or anyone down. We just want to get to Mabuchi. And that's because he had something to do with our boss's murder. That's it. Sorry I knocked you around and all. But seriously, stop playing the victim. You're the one who did wrong anyhow. <sighs> But hey, we're not gonna kill you for it. And we don't want to see your body turn up on the evening news, either. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Point being, you can trust us not to rat. We know you gave us as much info as you could. And we're done now, so just go home and forget this. It's not as if I don't know anything. What? So say you do know something? Not any personal stuff about Mabuchi-san. But I know some things about his businesses. He's got several. The largest is the Yokohama Trading Company. Yokohama Trading Company? Yeah, it does what you'd expect. It buys ingredients and kitchen stuff from China and sells them to restaurants here. Some of their customers are these real high-class places in Chinatown. I thought Mabuchi hated Chinatown. Oh, he does. <laughs> this is his way of getting revenge. When he first started the company, no one in Chinatown would take a meeting with him. But his stuff was top-notch and fucking cheap to boot, so they couldn't ignore him forever. The economy was in shambles, so even the Chinatown big shots couldn't pass up good, cheap products. Eventually, they were begging to do business with a the guy they'd shunned. Heh. <laughs> Mabuchi-san got a kick out of that. Now they can't stay open without him. Okay, so Yokohama Trading is his biggest venture? Well then, he probably stops in to check on it every now and then, wouldn't you say? Uh, maybe. But I used to work there part-time, and I never saw him once. You work there? Yeah. Their warehouse is on the other side of Hamakita Park. I was in the warehouse, unloading boxes from the ships that came in from China. Did that for about a month, and never saw Mabuchi-san. You got a job and stayed just one month? What, you expected consistency from a guy like this? Shut up! You two don't know shit! Loading freight's exhausting! Hey guys, what if we all got jobs at the Yokohama Trading Company? But Zheng said Mabuchi might not ever show up. Yeah, that's true, but it's the only lead we have right now. And even if he doesn't show up, hell, we might find something that leads to him. Besides, all of us need a new income stream with Otohime Land shut down. Don't get your hopes up. The warehouse mostly hires Liuman guys. They're suspicious of Japanese people. I doubt you'll get through the door. Then it's time to ask our old friend for another favor. <laughs> you mean Kanbe-san at Hello Work? Yeah, that guy's got connections. I'm sure he could hook us up with a measly warehouse gig. <laughs> It'd be nice to make some money again. Seriously, I'm totally behind getting both intel and money. That's just being efficient. Moving freight is no job for a woman, sweet cheeks. Oh, really? You do realize that hostesses have to do a lot of manual labor, too. They'll have a job for everyone. Let's meet at Hello Work first thing in the morning. Yeah, let's call it a day and head back. Uh, hey, fellas. What? For real? You're not gonna tell Mabuchi-san about me taking money from the bums? He scares the shit out of me, to be honest. Do I have to keep repeating myself? We won't tell. Why'd you finally come clean about Mabuchi's business anyway? I felt like I owed you something, since you weren't gonna rat on me. Hey, I'm just glad you trusted me, man. Thanks for not being a prick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but while I'm at it, 
Lay off harassing the ladies, would you? Sure, I'll tone it down to just kissing and groping. That work for you? Ichiban, let's kill him and be done with it. Okay, okay. It's all off the table unless I get their permission first. Is that good? <laughs> uh. Hey. Yo. Got it. Kinda in the mood for chocolate. Should we stop by a convenience store? Can we go play pachinko instead? What? If you want to play pachinko, why didn't you just say so instead of whining about chocolate? No, the chocolate prizes are actually pretty good. <laughs> I feel you. Man, now I want some chocolate too. Then we're off to the pachinko parlor. I swear. <laughs> 